<laughs> this is gonna be the worst episode ever. Hopefully. Aloha folks, welcome back to Spike's Breezeway Cocktail Hour. It's good to have you back here again. I hope you guys enjoyed last week's episode when we were talking about the hurricane. A very non-tiki, but kinda tiki drink. Kinda. This week we're gonna venture back to the 1972 Trader Vic's Bartender's Guide and a drink that comes from Hawaiian folklore. But, in order to do this, I wanna bring another guest on the show. And if you guys have watched the show before, you will recognize Miss Sugar Pepper Jones. Hello. Hello. You've been on this show twice now. Mm-hmm. And this is the third time. This is my third time. Uh, that is the most times out of all the times for people. Congratulations to me. <laughs> Back by popular demand, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Sugar Pepper Jones. And what, do you know what the drink is that we're gonna make tonight? What is it? <laughs> on page 165 of the 1972 Trader Vic's Bartender's Guide is a cocktail called Menahuni Juice. Menahuni Juice. Do you know what a Menahuni is? Yes, they're a forest dwelling people mm -hmm. in the Hawaiian Islands. They're dwarves. They're tiny. Tiny. And they're said to complete incredible feats of architecture and civil planning, I think, like bridges and stuff, but if they don't finish it in the course of one night, they will never finish the job. So I, I have a little bit of experience with the Menahunis because my first tiki band was a band called the Smokin' Menahunis. And so I learned all about these little dudes and uh, <laughs> what, what? Did you really? Yeah, I did. Well, okay, so what, what else about the Menahunis? They like bananas and fish? Mm, love fish. <laughs> Who, you do or they do? <laughs> Victor Bergeron loved this mythology, this Hawaiian mythology, and a lot of the stuff that he did for his recipes, his um, restaurants, were all based on Hawaiian and Polynesian mythology and fact. So this is the little dude that Victor Bergeron came up with to emblify the Menahunis. And Coconut Joe's actually made men. Oh wait. Coconut Joe's even made their own versions of the Menahunis. How's that? So it's like this little woodland creature who was really good at building things. He's so cute. He's terrifying. As per the lore, the only other people who could see Menahunis are his offspring. Who else? Or relatives. Or relatives or other Menahunis. Until now, where Victor Bergeron in his 1972 Bartender's Guide says, you can't see or talk to a Menahuni until you drink some Menahuni juice. Menahuni. So drink some. You want to ready for this juice? <laughs> I'd love to see some Menahuni. <laughs> Me too. So for this cocktail, we will be using limes, rock candy syrup, orange curacao, or jot syrup, and light Puerto Rican rum. We will be using the Bacardi 8. All right, let's start with the lime. Yeah. Why don't you grab a lime? Why don't you cut this lime in half? Good work. The recipe calls for the juice of one lime, and we have come to find out that the juice of one lime, as per Trader Vic, means one ounce of lime juice. So for two cocktails, we are gonna be using two ounces of lime juice. Squeeze away. There you go. Oh, oh my God. And then, I always get it all over the table. I think this is gonna be two ounces, though. Well, that was a half an ounce. I feel like you're getting a lot on the bar. <laughs> okay, that's good. All right, let me take that from you. And just like the Mai Tai, we are gonna be saving these spent lime shells for the garnish. We'll keep these over here. That's about an ounce of lime juice, which actually, so, oh. so Victor Bergeron thought for shorthand, he would say juice of one lime, because it was usually about an ounce. But sometimes you get giant limes and it's like two ounces and sometimes you get tiny limes and it's like a half an ounce. So um, we need one more ounce of lime juice. So if you wanna grab another lime. Okay, and I will quickly squeeze this guy. Okay, so there's two ounces of lime juice there. Why don't you pour that into the mixing glass? 
Okay, so for the next ingredient, this cocktail calls for half an ounce of orange curacao. So that'll be one ounce for two cocktails. All right, smell that thing first. What does it smell mm, like? It smells like floor cleaner. Floor cleaner? Like that orange floor cleaner. Oh yeah, kind of does. Perfect. Okay. Next ingredient is rock candy syrup. But this is a little bit different. We're gonna be using rock candy syrup for the cocktail instead of simple syrup. And it's as per Trader Vic Bergeron, rock candy syrup is two parts sugar to one part water. So it's a thicker syrup. And we have it in this jar here. So the recipe calls for a quarter ounce. So that means that we're gonna be doing a half ounce. Perfect. And... Okay, so then orgeat is the next ingredient, yeah. From BG Reynolds, one of our new sponsors, we're gonna be using a quarter ounce per cocktail, so half an ounce of orgeat. Perfect. And what does that smell like? Hmm, earthy. Earthy? Mm hmm Okay, and then for the rum, we're gonna be doing two ounces of light Puerto Rican rum. I love the Bacardi 8. So we'll be doing two ounces per cocktail. So we are looking for four ounces of light Puerto Rican rum. Do you have an opinion about quirks? You already know I like quirks. <laughs> Everybody likes quirks. <laughs> okay, one more. One more two ounce pour. Okay. And there it is, the Menahuni juice. I love the color. Yeah, me too. So upon reading the recipe in the bartender's guide from Trader Vic, we learned that he intended us to mix everything together except for the lime juice. And then when you come to serve it, you squeeze the lime juice over ice, shake all the other ingredients, and then pour that in. Now, do you guys think that matters? I, I mean, I, I think it all matters, but I'm just not sure how that would affect the taste. So we didn't do it that way but I wanna let you guys know that that's how you're supposed to do it as per Vic. But mention in the comments below if you think that that would influence the taste or whatever. Okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, so for this cocktail, we will be filling a tin with ice. Okay, we're gonna pour this into the tin. It's a big cocktail for shaking. I'm afraid that this is gonna get all, oh no. Uh-oh. Maybe this is the reason why Vic wanted us to do it separately. Oh, maybe not, okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> of course you wanna make sure that you shake until the tin is nice and frosty in a horizontal motion, right? What are you doing, are you shaking? Come on, man. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Ooh. I see the steam coming off of it. The steam? Yeah. From, from all the heat? The ice. For this cocktail, we will be using a Breezeway cocktail hourglass that we did a couple months ago. And if you guys want one of these things, thinking about doing those cocktail glasses again, mention it in the comments below if you'd like one. The other glass is the traditional Trader Vic's Mai Tai glass. So we'll go ahead and Start pouring this here. Of course, we want to fill the glasses up all the way with ice. <laughs> and then Vic says that he wants us to sink a lime shell in each drink, just as they would have done with a Mai Tai. And in fact, he even says, garnish it with mint. What are you supposed to do with the mint? Smack it. Mm. Of course, I am of the belief that more mint is more. So don't skimp the mint. <laughs> oh, I said that before once. Did you? Yeah, I was like, we should do a t-shirt. Don't skimp the mint. Yeah. When you ordered this cocktail at Trader Vic's, back in the day, it would literally come with the little dude. So we're gonna put the little dude in the Trader Vix one. <laughs> and then in, uh, in Sugar Pepper's drink, I, I gave you a swizzle over there with a little graphic of the dude. So she gets the plastic version of the dude. And I get the- <laughs> I get the little dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here are some straws for you and some straws for me. 
into the Menahunis, and hopefully we can see Menahunis after we drink the juice. Wow. Mm. Ooh, tangy. Yeah. It's like a really bitter uh, Mai Tai. Or You like it? Yeah. I mean, it's basically the, the ingredients for a Mai Tai, just kind of different proportions. More sugar, and the rum is different. So the Mai Tai would have a blend of light and dark rums, or uh, or just like a dark rum, whereas this is a light Puerto Rican rum. It's a different taste. It's 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 lighter and kind of more tangy, more airy. Yeah. It's good though, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, I like light rum. Mm. She does. Yeah, I'm enjoying the tartness. It is very tart, but it's it's fairly typical of Trader Vic. Whereas Dawn the Beachcomber's cocktails are more spicy, Vic's cocktails are more tangy and tart. And uh, yeah, good one. I want my little guy. Oh, you you want your own dude? <laughs> yeah. Okay. You don't really hear about Menahunis. Like it's not something that people really know about, is it? I've never heard of it before. I like the mythology though that, that Vic plays on in order to like create stories around his cocktails. I think it's really cool. Yeah. Can you hear him talking to you yet? Um, not quite yet. Okay, more minute and juice. It's really tangy. God, that's mm -hmm. like, you can have one of these. My, my initial reaction would be to put some like, like a dark pot still rum in here, just to kind of even out the tartness. I think that would help it, but you know, the drink's the drink and we want to make it as true to the original recipe as possible. Do you like it? At I first I liked like it, but now it. I'm just like, yeah, I it's kind of have heartburn. Yeah. Yeah, I have heartburn a little bit. Do you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Manahuni juice is kind of aggressive. Very acidic. But if you want to talk to Manahunis and hear them and see them, you have to drink the juice. I think I feel the Manahuni. I am definitely feeling the Manahuni though. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I think the mythology is real. All the way here in Costa Mesa? I feel the presence of the Manahuni. We're a long ways from Hawaii. He's so cute. He's got his big belly. Mm -hmm. Satanic eyebrows. Satanic Love eyebrows. <laughs> All right, folks, thank you so much for joining us once again on Spike's Breezeway Cocktail Hour. I would love to thank my guest, Miss Sugar Pepper Jones, for joining us once again. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. I think I'm starting to see a Manahuni. We will see you in the next cocktail video. Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> <laughs>
still rolling? Yeah, we're still rolling. I hope so. You're back by popular demand. People wanted you back. And I flopped it. You didn't flop it. I th There's an episode in here somewhere, I think. What about your band? What were they called? Oh, the Smoking Menahoonies? Well, first of all, I didn't name the band. Second of all, it was basically a, uh, like a Hapa Howley and steel guitar instrumental band. We played a lot of backyard parties. We actually even played the former owner of, what's the big uh, wiener car? <laughs> what? The Oscar Mayer wiener? What's the wiener mobile? The Oscar Mayer wiener. Is that what it is? I think so, yeah. Okay, so we played the former owner of Oscar Mayer wiener's house. <laughs> I think it was in the valley or something. But his garage was on the side of his house and it was super long because he literally had one of the Wienermobiles in his house. <laughs> Swear. And for that band, so we used to bring this this carved tiki with us to the shows, you know, to spice it up with like, you know, like theatrics. Uh -huh. So we drilled a hole through them and then I, I would bring a smoke machine. And while we were playing, I would step on this pedal and it would blow smoke <laughs> through its mouth. <laughs> My old steel guitar player reminds me all the time. He's he's like, yeah, we were playing this song and there were people at the buffet trying to get their food and you were <laughs> smoking them out of the buffet. Because I was like, pay attention to us. Have some smoke. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> Thanks. It's a long time ago. Smoking Mahoney's. <laughs> what are they called? What are these creatures called? Not Mahoney's. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you do. It's the little homies. Menahoonies? <laughs> oh my god. Mahoney. Menahoonies, yes. Menahoonies, yeah. <laughs>